Right, so I'm gonna do some Chrissy Ram roll, try and hit some Chris stuff. Uh, we have a bad G selling passive is not bad, I guess. Sure, I'll take it. Not exactly the kind of thing I want to force uh, on round rule. Discard comps is not really its style. Neither is a starting treasure chest. <laughs> but that cheese is generally just solid. Probably should have taken bomb on. But I didn't want to do bomb stuff either. <laughs> As long as we're collecting a whole bunch of money, I'm pretty happy. I could play a darkness game, except I'm versing more. I do want to try one, because in theory, they have gotten quite a few buffs that you can actually do it. In practice, I don't think it's going to work. Also, we just got that, so uh, Belusion, here I come. I think this is one of the better Belusion passives, but obviously no Belusion is not going to do anything. Alright, let's claim that free exploitable damage. Was anything. Seems we will be taking a bit of damage here. Well, maybe not. Well, I could take a susceptible. A susceptible redoubler game. Doesn't sound the greatest, does it? Unfortunately not. I think susceptible is cool, but I should probably not force it so early on. I think that it's much better to focus on some other things. Right, let's just try and hit some bombs. That's all I really want to do. We get that kill as well though, which is pretty amazing. Around about the bounce I was aiming for. Could have collected a bit more cash and I would have been happy. Double double. I could force an infection. That does sound pretty fun. Or I could just save cash. Like always. Right. We're resting plants, which does suck. They're going to tax a lot of health from us. But we do get the stunning crit daggled and almost a perfect draw. Ideally we can get 50 damage here and the bomb. But I guess everything works out in the end. I'll take this shot then. This is the crit. This is the bomb. But overall it's pretty fine. The best bramble you've ever seen before. Here, crit here. Well, I was not expecting that, and that helps out quite a bit. It means I can probably take a shot like this instead, which I can just use for collecting money. It means I didn't take too much damage. Uh, cauldron bubble. This can be a cauldron bubble game. That's the thing. I like cauldron bubble, so I will take it, but no upgrades just yet. Uh, yeah, we'll take a weak loss this time. I, I'm much happier to jump on Reef Philosopher's Stone nowadays because uh, plus 10 refreshes is a pretty good uh, uh, passive to high roll on. And 2 uh, gold per refresh is a pretty good way to high roll with it. Yeah, I'll do this. Oh, come on. Alright, perfect. 
need more? Oh, he's not dead yet. I did kind of need more then apparently. Alright, it looks like our rope path is open though, and that's basically what I needed. Three. Oh, might be cool. Alright, yeah, this does suck. Same with uh, Cotton Bubble last. It's 2 3 damage on a crit, so I'm not really too worried about that. We have no delusion yet either, which is unfortunate. It means that one of our best is doing absolutely nothing. Okay. We do, do have our crit here, though. And we get the kill, perfect. Just take make that an AoE. You get pretty useless debuffs, unfortunately. I'll take this shot actually. And then hopefully we just get two back-to-back -back kills. Does not look like that, so we're taking damage unfortunately. A good cash collection at least. I'll probably need to heal. We're versing mole. Hmm. I could potentially also just die with. Why did I dodge? Oh, blind. Okay, wow, blind came clutch. I might have also dodged before, I can't recall. Oh! I swear I just saw it. Um, Let's just double check. I've got a shop right there, which I wasn't even planning on going to actually. Shot stack sounds like a bad idea. I think I'll force AoE from the spoke of it. Sounds like a good idea. Alright. Wow. Okay, forcing AoE is a pretty good idea as it turns out. Uh, that's really, really good for me. All the story, also excellent. Not much choice here, so uh, I guess we're going this way. Probably should buy a heal after this shot. Alright. This should just basically kill, right? It's just really good AoE. Wow, look at that bomb placement, perfect. Yeah, Grubby Gloves is just actually a really solid starting pass as it turns out. As well as, um, it's really, really good on round roll. Let's just try and collect some cash. Looks like that's not going to be happening. 188 cash so we can buy a remove. Uh, let's go for, I believe it's that shot. Yep, good. Just the bounce in. We have cookie is perfect. Remove on our pebble, right? Because we're just going to try and force crit, I presume. Uh, Molten is extra greed, pocket sand is probably not actually necessary. Pocket sand has gotten worse and worse, I'd say. The, the enemies that are threatening you aren't really the melee ones. Alright, so Minotaur would be amazing here. Just anything but plants, please. I've gotten very sick of placing them. Alright, we should be pretty good into these guys. I'm just gonna trash that. Good bomb placement. Hopefully this is where our good AoE damage just comes into play. Yeah. It really is noticeable just how good AoE is. And I had a double double option earlier. Yep, got money. We're just on collecting money. This is what happens when we don't fight plants back to back three times in a row. Which is nice. Uh, I will be taking the heal. It's definitely not the greatest heal, but I kind of need it. Uh, double damage multiplier is pretty good. Good. Alright, so I'm, I'm really setting myself up for a uh, high roll on uh, Leap. Which is pretty great. 
Okay, good. Good bomb damage. I'm not guaranteed crit, but I will take this shot. It looks pretty good. As long as I deal damage here, I'm pretty happy. So. Let's just do that. Kind of just fine with this. We don't take the thing damage from the plant. Everything turns out just fine with the bomb. Alright, even better. And then we get good AoE. Oh, we even got a crit. Look at 11 collected coins. I did pick up that passive on purpose because actually triggering crits is pretty good for us. Yeah, so we uh, didn't need the heal. But I'd say it was still worth taking it anyway. And now we hit 10 extra refreshes. So. I'm not going to complain too much about Kinetic Meteorite. It does make 10 extra refreshes much worse if we get it as a second passive. Reversing, uh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, round by now. I, mean, I got the crit I asked for. Uh, looks like we're going right anyway. So. Let's just try and get some uh, money. I'm doing a pretty good job of that. Hey, I should just be spamming him refreshing. Oh, I guess not. I have explosive tools. Yeah, that's actually going pretty nicely. Once we can get some more refreshes on the board, I'll be much happier. Bramble. Just imagine how insane this uh, comp will go once I get. Uh, what's it called? The uh, mask of. Whatever, the, the plus one debuff. <laughs> once I get that, that'll be amazing. 141 cash, it's not bad. I would like to get to 145, please. This might very much be the difference between. Uh, be the difference between uh, one remove and not one remove, which I would love a remove. I'm not going to get fancy, it's too important that we go right here. Uh, looks like we have some interesting stuff. Yeah, it was the difference between one remove. <laughs> oh well. Uh, three crits, free scaling, and uh, I could buy an elu circle. Uh, I'm versing. If I wasn't versing this guy, I probably wouldn't do it, but I think it's just so good here. Alright, we get a good AoE here. We're definitely taking a hit, but it's not too bad. Alright, good stuff. Let's just collect our money and get out of here. Do we have a shop later on? No. So upgrade the uh, evasion generator as fast as possible. That would be unfortunate, but it would much prefer to have not taken uh, 20 damage, but uh, we have some good healing. It's probably worth buying, right? Let's just consider this. I get... Yeah, it sounds pretty worth. I'll just take it. No forge, unfortunately, but uh, still it's good. Thank you. Alright, we have reasonable AoE, so... Hopefully we can actually hit the bombs. Very good stuff. Uh, where are we on power to collect that? Three bot three eggs. And we get that bomb okay, perfect. As well as we're getting our vision. That went about as well good as I could have hoped for.
Um, these upgrades are just set value, right? I just want to make sure I'm thinking properly. Good stuff. Okay, squares is actually a very tough fight for us. This fight is always tough for us. Luckily it looks like we got some good bounces, so our AoE is pretty reasonable. So I have a choice here. And I think I get more health if I shoot this. Oh yeah, I was right. I'll just take that. Perfect. So it looks like we're taking minimal uh, health loss this fight, and we get honestly we heal. Okay, really nice. Uh, Kobanov. I do like Kobanov a lot. Oh, they nerfed his damage quite a bit, I believe. I swear I remember it dealing more damage. Ah, unfortunate. Um, yeah, we just want to show all. Can set up to two, yeah. I take it. Not to shoot it, of course, but because this guy has so much value. Good stuff. Alright, well, we got not the greatest into this, but uh, not too bad. Better click there is really helping out here, actually. Okay, we're actually really good into this fight, it would seem. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty beautiful. Alright, every six times. That was actually really, really solid. I mean, ideally I just max out on evasion here. Deal with Mr. Ping and Man. Alright, guaranteed crit. Yeah, getting guaranteed crits is cool, getting scaling is also cool. Picking up the Elu Circle was just generally a good idea. No overwhammer. I really want this to hit a refresh. That sucks. I was hoping to get a good loose circle shot. But I have to hit a refresh immediately, so it's not going to be the greatest. Still really good though. I can just use this as an order to heal up and generate some cash. That's a pretty good idea. Some damage as well. Can we get a dodge? This is pretty much a. Oh! That's a lot of crits on the board. Yeah, we get lots of damage. So, practically dead. Yep. <laughs> and by practically, I mean dead, dead. Now, so Ballad is really good. However, do I actually need a Ballad, and how much money would it cost me if I took it? I think I'm going to ignore it. And I'll upgrade the Fresh Earth because it's actually going to me more money right now. Bomb Steel plus 15 damage, also very good. But uh, Safety Net is just uh, extremely strong, so I'll take it. I've heard it was actually excellent here. Yeah. Yeah, we're very much going left. Ambidex, man, that's incredible. That is really, really helpful. Paper 10, not bad. Oh, was that all but Sorry? Oh, wow, we got the Mask of Sorry. Oh, yeah, we finally got the Mask of Sorry. <laughs> that's incredible. I didn't hit the crit I am for somehow, but uh, I am not going to complain about the damage. That was what I would generally call pretty solid. I might help. But with 7th infection, is nothing to scoff at. Probably not enough to get a dodge. Oh, so much healing, so much money generation. I 
you should basically just be dead. And I can get enough money as I'm trying to get. It's really good. Those debuffs are so good. Uh, more crits. So more crits don't actually do anything for me now, but I feel like taking that would be a good investment. But I'm not going to, I don't think. Oh, I feel like it's going to be a good investment. Ah, uh, what a script. I have uh, every day 20, so I'm fine to take it. Battle Gloves are really good. Crits also refresh. Oh, yeah. I guess that already pays out the investment, doesn't it? Uh, honestly, I don't care about my health. I think I have really good heals. And I think money's probably just more valuable to me at this point. So ideally, I don't take any revenge damage here, but it doesn't feel like that's going to be the case. Luckily, we have Elusive. Dude, lots of bombs. That's great. Yeah, so we take no revenge damage here, depending on how many pins that we take. Or a full pin anyway, so... Really, isn't that bad. And I can shoot this, which should full heal. And generate cash. And get a kill. And maybe even get bombs. Yeah, this is the way to fun map. Yeah, the cut for refresh circle just coming in. Good stuff. Now go for the icicle. Uh, am I just going to have a bunch of random orbs in my deck? Yes, I am. <laughs> Thanks for asking. Uh, six, that doesn't actually change it, it just changes two to three. Huh? Am I reading this right? It actually just changes two to three. Well, I don't know about that one. What about you? You go spin faction two, spin faction three. Oh, by the way, that's an additional spin faction one, aka it should proc a mask of sorrow twice. Very cool. Whereas go for the ice school is actually a pretty solid upgrade. I just upgraded up the ice cube because I can. I go stuff. Now I don't have the thing that I like, but well, this uh, lineup is pretty good actually. <laughs> I'm going to dodge his hit, and even if I didn't don't dodge the hit, I'm gonna full heal it. And we're starting to stack the debuffs. I mostly took Ghost the Ethical because uh, it's pretty good AoE, but it's also actually pretty good blind soul, so uh, that's also nice. Just that's so many debuffs, so there's 17 blind already. I should get to my good option now. I guess technically you are one. He's already lost so much health. Oh yeah, it's a clan shot at the end. I mean, I should get lots of heals up this time. I think that I would still take a uh, plus 10 refresh, by the way. <laughs> I think it's still just that good. Move on. Uh, convert first pig kit to refresh, convert every day. Sure, I'll take it. I'm just adding a bunch of random orb level 2 orbs to my deck at this point. All pegs have durable, yeah, that seems pretty good. Or constricting chains. Or plus zero plus four. Um, durable, right? So let's just quickly look at my inventory. Durable. Or constricting chains. Durable. Ideally, I just get a lot of cash and I can just buy out all of the shops that we see. 
Doesn't look like there's many shops. I think that was only one shop, perhaps. Let's just shoot this one so I can check on that. No, no, okay, good. There's still two shops. I thought this one was too far away from that. Yeah, but only two shops there, unfortunate. Not even a boss before then. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Good news is I'm collecting quite a lot of orbs. Uh, quite a lot of reasonable orbs. A little bit of heal, a little bit of money. Yeah, I've been really enjoying Reflosser's Stone recently. I think it's gotten a whole lot better since they added the uh, new boss passive in. Another cauldron bubble. <laughs> like maybe if I actually had uh what's it called? Uh anvil, I'll take it. Well that did not go the way I wanted it to go. Oh, fun fun. That's funny. Uh what's it called is really good with uh Every 30 pegs here is really strong with the uh, dribble, which is actually really nice. I should get the crit, right? Wait, you guys doing what you're doing? Indeed you are. I've got a lot of upgrades to have you had. I'll upgrade the money generating ones, which is 8 to 6, but pretty important actually. I should get lots of bouncing, that's why I shot in that direction. I guess I will probably be going in that direction. I think it's fine. I just need to make sure the hard focus right. We really haven't got any moves happening. One bag all. Should be cool if I had over one. Oh, Echo 10. That's cool. I think you're probably just better. Yeah, that's good, right? Oh, wow, so Scepter was probably actually really good here. Let's see who we're versing. We're versing you. Settle's probably really good. Bella is also probably pretty good. Level 3 battles for 45 cash. You know what? I'm just in that mood where I'm just gonna add anything to my deck that I want. Because it's pretty good. I mean, can still hard force right, but it's getting harder too. Yeah, one more and I can't do it anymore. But I wouldn't complain too much about it. Well, actually, yeah. I really wouldn't, would I? I bomb just a little bit of Do I have a... No, I don't have a little bit This map is always just so uh, good at keeping your orbs up like this. I'm surprised they lived, honestly. Do I bomb still decrease damage yet? say I would but my bombs actually kind of suck. Could I take another loose circle? I think I'll just pass. Wow this is a very full map. Looks like I'm shooting like here. That was a very off guess. I mean I can lose 16 HP. This is unfortunate. It's not so unfortunate. Alright, I should hurry up and get to my ults, but I don't want to shoot my ults. 
Ja, geschafft. I guess I should probably start hitting the bombs, right? <laughs> Oops. That's a lot of damage, isn't it? Okay. That's a lot of damage that he's taking, I mean. <laughs> oh my god. It turns out I just suck into this fight, apparently. I didn't think my deck was uh, gonna struggle so much here. There's not much of a surprise it does, I guess. So yeah, I'm gonna need some heals, but... Uh, that's what the next few fights are for, I guess. It's probably a good idea to upgrade my loot circle. Oh, I'm just before a shelf, aren't I? One, two. I mean, that looks more fun right now, actually. So I might just do that. Yeah, let's take the fun route. Then if that doesn't backfire. Oh, come on. Ooh, removal. all. Excellent. Alright, so much for fun route. Navigation inflation, very cool. I just want one shot, that's the thing. Alright, he enhanced it. I mean, that's the bomb stuff I said I wanted. Alright, good. Now we basically have two bad orbs in our deck, so... Uh, we're in a much better spot. I could take this exploitable. <laughs> Let's just think about this. I had the exploitable... 2? It's actually pretty good. I don't think I'm gonna bother, though. I think I have enough good orbs. Let's try and full heal. Reorganizer, I don't have anything to go with it, so let's just take that, upgrade that. Not much point in doing that, it's pretty bad. Um, I guess I will just upgrade it like that, because I have this. Alright, didn't get as much money as I was hoping. Navigation inflation 2. Strange blue, I guess that's pretty good. Fresh bandana. It's pretty amazing. Basically just want to use this opportunity to heal up as much as possible. Yeah, the enhanced hit plus a... Uh, Thing I've got going on is actually really nice. Uh, 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 like, yeah, that, that combo is really nice. Didn't get any Bramble, which is unfortunate. He is just gone. And I might as well do it. Nah, who needs healing, right? Me, by the way, I need healing. Uh, navigation inflation getting me quite a bit of cash there. Okay. Looks like we're still in a pretty good spot. And it looks like we're also going to get quite a lot of damage on this shot. Trigger and crate is useless though, right? Seventy three health I might already and I obliterated them all without my shot. Okay, this 
is uh, not working out quite the way I was hoping. I didn't hit the bomb. Travel. Uh, well, I'd lost a tiny bit more health than I was hoping to lose. I did not. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. But it looks like I get to shoot this one again, which is pretty good. Well, Alright, very cool. We have the centrication, we're not missing coin dragon, so it doesn't matter bubble, which we could also take, but I won't. Now uh, we're going to take the heal there, we're going to upgrade the dagger, and we can't do that once more, so. Yep. So we're heading in on 90 health, so despite that rather disastrous scenario, we're still in a pretty good spot. And we've got some pretty good orb shots coming up. Oh wow, that's potentially catastrophic. Oh, well, let's just try and stack up the buffs then. Looks like we're losing quite a few pegs. That might be unfortunate. But yeah, only having two crit damage on this orb is such a good shot. It's uh, unfortunate because it's transforming a lot of our pegs into bombs. And it's also stacking them up quite a bit. I found the refresh. Okay, didn't stack them up that much. Let's see what you can do. A 3 9, that's pretty good actually. I mean, 1000 damage would be very nice, honestly. And it looks like you've got that much. Solid blind. Yeah, it looks like we're just in a good spot. Let's make some more refresh pegs. Yeah, the uh, actual scaling is nice. Yeah, we get the bombs like I suspect I would. Oh, if we have bombs applies to infection one or anything, that'd be good. Fly monster to infection one. Like, really, really good. Anyway, good stuff. We should be able to scaling off that now, too. Let's get our infection going. 16 infection. It's actually very reasonable. Our starting bad cheese could doing stuff there, I guess. I'll shoot this all. And he's practically just dead. Not much to be done about him. Can't recover from 20 months of infection. Oh, this is Isaac. Go to get the strongest orb. So, yeah, I basically just use every single orb ever. <laughs> to be Chrissy 9, I'm now on Chrissy 10 for a round, which is pretty reasonable. I get uh, some good pollution stuff. I think that it's definitely solid. We Philosopher's Stone, I think it's gotten much, much stronger as a passive. Before it was in a bit of a rough spot where um, it was a greed passive that wanted you to hit uh, the already good passives in the refresh passives to be good. But now I think it's just good so, uh, just so much of the time and it's a good enough high roll with the refresh passives that it just funds you so much. Yeah, we hit Mask of Sorrow as well on Rounder, which always busted. Uh, badgies, I should have just taken the pick back. <laughs> and that's it later. Yeah, we had a whole bunch of stuff. Grab the glove starter, always nice. And then Cookie for the massive heals, just solid stuff. <laughs>